So today on Try This at Home, we're going to be programming keys for a 2001 Ford F-150 using a software suite called Forescan. Now you're going to need some sort of a OBD2 device. Um, you can get them that are Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or um, regular USB wire connection. And you're also going to need a x86 um, device of some sort that runs Windows. You will need an extended license with Forescan to do this. It's also free. There's plenty of videos uh, on how to do that from other people, and it's really very simple. If you can't figure out how to do that, um, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Make sure that you use a quality, known, good key that is going to program with this. If you buy a Chinese key, unless you already have two existing keys that are good, you do not want to do this with some cheap key uh, that you picked up off of eBay. So what I would recommend is um, get a Stratec key. Um, Stratec uh, keys are a high quality key and generally speaking, they always work. So what we're gonna have to do with this specific truck is erase all the keys that it knows and then reprogram two new ones. If you cannot reprogram two new ones, the vehicle will not start until two keys are programmed. So we have our OBD Link MX down there um, connected to our tablet, which is an x86 tablet with Bluetooth. And we haven't connected to the vehicle yet, so when Forescan opens up, you'll connect your Bluetooth device just like you would anything else and then make sure this is on the ignition key is in on which it is and you can see why I'm reprogramming new keys because my key is covered in electrical tape because it's coming apart so key needs to be in on position so we're gonna hit OK and it is going to run us through a few quick setup things here finds the device, finds this. We're gonna go with that top one because it's not a super crew. And it finds what it is, a 4.6 liter, 2001, yada, yada, yada. It's gonna run all down through this stuff. Once the reading vehicle info down here changes to ready, then we're gonna move on with the next step in the process. Okay, we don't need to save this. Okay. So we're ready. Now we're going to go to the one that has the wrench icon on it. Then we're going to go to I see Pat's programming. Then we're going to hit the play button down here. And it just tells you what you need here. Now this is very important because we're going to be doing this erase and program because the ignition key programming function won't work on this model year of truck. You have to erase the keys to program more. So we are going to do erase and program keys. Going to hit OK. And it's going to have us gain security access. Now some of these will have like a ping pong. It sends you a code. You have to send one back um, to gain access. This truck is just a timer. So we're going to say OK and it takes about 12 minutes. If you buy these keys, like I bought these Stratec keys on Amazon, um, they're going to come as a blank. That is an uncut key, which is not going to turn in your ignition, which is not going to be programmable and not going to be useful for you in any way. So you're going to have to get these keys and get them cut. So you could go to a locksmith, go to Walmart, Lowe's, somewhere that has a key machine, and hope that they'll do it cheaply or in some cases I've heard of people going to a hardware store or Walmart something somewhere like that and they do it for free either way you need it cut so that it will turn in the ignition and you can try that before you do the programming you just won't be able to start the vehicle with it just finished now and it comes up and tells us it's going to erase the keys this is a nice final warning because if you do not have two keys that will program, you will not be able to start the vehicle. We're going to hit yes. Now it's going to take a minute and tell us that all known keys have been erased. So we're going to turn the ignition off. Wait 10 seconds. And 
going to turn the key on for a minimum of three seconds. You can hear and feel something with the truck change. It's like the ABS. Then we're going to take that one out. We're going to put our new key in. And there you go. The theft light has gone out. So two keys have been programmed. We're going to hit OK. Service procedure completed successfully. That's all there is to it. So this new key. There you go. Now this procedure, while I was specifically doing this on an F-150, most Ford vehicles use the same, if not very similar procedure. Um, so if you have a Focus, a Taurus, anything like that that uses a transponder key, generally speaking, can be programmed with this. Now, you will want to check and see if it can be uh, before you go and buy keys and spend money getting them cut and all that stuff. But in the end, I did this for a total cost of about $12. Um, it cost me for a key. Um, I did buy two actually, so I have $24 into it. Um, but that's so that I can have two spare keys. So to do that, instead of just doing the two keys, I would just cycle three keys in the ignition and it'll program as many as you want. So big shout out to the guys that make this software. Um, it works phenomenally well uh, and does all kinds of other stuff too. We'll probably get into this uh, more in other videos, but for now, there you go. Thanks for watching.